Actually, I think I'll move them on to texture mapping now. Let's go to that. There we are. And now we'll quickly go to, uh, this is just something I wanted to cover because it's very common. When first you apply a texture to an object, uh, it, it can seem like these controls over here, if you scroll down in the render tab, that these are the only controls you have. So I can scale it, which for stone, you can go pretty small or pretty large. The smaller you go, uh, you'll start to see a repeating pattern. See that? There's a repeated image there. It becomes very obvious if you use it small. So try to make it as large as you can because then the pattern doesn't become so obvious to a human eye. Uh, and it seems like you can only rotate in these ways. Like I can rotate the texture, but I can't rotate where it's rotating around. It seems to have picked a random X point right in here. To get around that, you'll use one of the tools that you wouldn't think you would touch for this, and that's the attribute mapping tool. So here, there's a couple modes for it. Uh, this one, the first mode just shows you one instance of the texture. So this is the, the image that that texture is based on, and you can click in the center of it, drag it around, this changes the origin. But if you want to see what it's going to look like across the whole object, there's an option up here at the top left to original repeat mode, and it still functions. It just shows me the whole duplication of the textures. So you can see how many times it was done. Uh, the corners become scaling controls like they did if you had a rectangle. You can grab the corners and just scale them that way. And the side handles aren't for scaling, they're for rotation. So whenever I go to rotate it, you can see now that the point that it's rotating off of is the other, the opposing side. So if I grab the right side, it rotates around this point. If I grab this point over here, it will rotate around that right side point. And you can set that point of rotation. Same with scaling. If I go to scale it from here, it's going to scale from and to this point. It's going to just use its opposing side. So you can put this wherever you'd like in order to, for that to be easier. Uh, another th quick item I wanted to cover was a mapping type. So we'll get out of the tool here. This is currently set to plane, which is very simple. Most objects, like that, that big ball we had in there earlier, was just, you don't need to worry too much about the texture mapping, but if it's a complicated shape, you need to pick one of these other options. Now, auto-align plane, and I believe perimeter, will look the same for this object because it's flat. We're looking at one flat side. If I were to pick these other options, I believe cylinder, you can see here, it's trying to map it, and actually, I'll see if I can get it a little stranger. Here, I'll see if we can do plane. There we are. So what it's doing now is, Plane tried to figure out the best way to map a texture to this object, and it failed miserably. What it did was it found the sides of the object, and it attempted to stick that texture there, and then just stretch the texture over the edge, as if you had taken an image and just actual picture and just sort of stretched it over someone's face. It just sort of distorts the features. If I want to make sure that the texture is mapped to the top, I can just take this, click it once, and then you'll see, you see the little finger with the square? Click once. I've now told Vectorworks, no, this is the face I care about for this particular mapping, and it will map that one option. If you have a very complicated shape that has multiple facets that all need their own different texture mapping, oftentimes you have to break it up. You can only do one type of mapping per object at the moment in Vectorworks. You can't paint things to a surface, and you can't choose the mapping for each individual facet of an object, so keep that in mind. Generally, uh, to save you some time, Auto Align Plane is pretty good at guessing what's correct. It'll get things like extrudes, like this extruded path, it'll get them right.